morning. Um, today I'm going to talk about our body types of especially women. I mainly focus on us. Um, this was inspired by one of the delegates who, who attended the Becoming Shakti workshop. She just messaged and she told me that how her perception about her body image has changed and maybe I shouldn't just keep it to a, a workshop itself because well a lot of people you know everybody won't come to the workshop so and she said that this information is worth being spread so here I am so I thought I'll do a quick video about it um, this is uh, in Ayurveda uh, there are three body constitutions. One is Vata, one is Pitta, and one is Kapha. Now, Kapha, if you are a big girl, you are either uh, your Prakriti or your body constitution would be Kapha, or along the way, um, you have uh, gained. Now, if you have gained along the way, this is easy for you to get rid of. But if you are born for a Kapha constitution, now Kapha is when we take the five elements this is divided into the three body constitutions as follows so a copper person would be earth the elements and their body constitution is mainly built of earth and water if you are a pitta constitution like me it's fire and water and if you are a water constitution your air and ether mainly air right now this is manifested in our bodies. If you take the if you take the thin, the very tiny frames, you know they with scanty hair and uh, you know their mentality. They're not in one place. They're they're all over the place. They're they're full of fear and insecurity. This is a water person. Now their gifts are clairvoyance and they're the healers of the society because they are the the feel for energy because they are air and they're the lightest element anything grosser than air they feel it very well so this is i'm a water person i'm going to do it very you know quickly and so that you the video won't get too long now a bitter person is fire and water they have sharp features they they are basically about intellect they were the teachers and the sustainers of the society now if you take the copper women uh, the ones that we are focusing today, they are their elements. They are made of earth and water. You're like Mother Earth. You're fertile. You can manifest. Law of attraction is your friend. You know, if you want to go to, if you want to go to a meal, if you go to a copper woman's house for a meal, you are not. You're going to get a feast. You know, they have. They bear children with ease and. Um, their houses, their houses are so homely, their hugs are so, so great. So they are basically like Mother Earth, you know. Their quality is like Mother Earth. Anything you plant, it will flourish. So if you're a copper woman, don't be sitting and wondering why you're not like a plank, like a water person, because you're not built to be that, you know. Um, this this size zero nonsense it actually came with the dieting industry women before they, they were voluptuous and they were loved for that they were admired for that you know because everybody every woman can't be voluptuous and you know in the eastern cultures how when when they there's no depiction of women of water they there's no <laughs> there's no um my dog <laughs> there's no mention of how beautiful a plank looking body is but if you look at the literature they would say that their eyebrows are like archers i'm talking about copper women again they have luscious hair uh, their their uh, breasts are like urns that hold golds their hips are like clay pots all these um mm, all these you know their their stomach with the little pot is, is like Mother Earth. These were the descriptions of songs about copper women, about women who were big. And also, if you want to very quickly see if this is true, 
if you have guys for friends, close friends, or your partners, check their porn collection. You will not see skinny women in that porn collection. Even if you're a skinny woman, look at your husbands or your, your partners or your friends who are boys. Uh, the porn collection. The majority of that would be of voluptuous women because the caveman knows what they want. In the good olden days when the king was to um, choose his queen, his main queen, not the concubines, the main queens, he always went for a woman with this stature because your mother earth, your mother earth, don't try to um, change, you are not air, you know. And, and this, it, it's the dieting industry that did this because, my God, it's a billion dollar business. Now, I can only tell you this. You have to be able to understand and get into grips with this, that your body, your body, the way it has manifested has its own purpose. And it's the most beautiful purpose out of the three body constitutions, right? So I will talk about Pitta and Vata another day. There are plus points and there are negative points. But I want to speak to copper women today because, I mean, it's a crime if you don't eat. It's a crime if you, if you struggle. No, this is like your house. This is, this is the house that contains your energy, you know. You don't go to somebody's house and if it's a really big house, you don't criticize it. You're, all, you're like, wow, right? But if you go to a tiny dingy house, well, you may be the judge of it. So it's the same way. Your body is like a mansion. Be proud of it. Embrace it. And also, if you are struggling mentally, um, what I have found is... Sign up into African-American women's pages, right? This is like a small tip for us in this day and age because they are very confident. They're very voluptuous women and they're very confident about it. And that's the circle that you should be in if you're trying to get your mind straight about your size. Because look at their men. Their men are not talking about thin women. It's the women who train the men to like size zeros. Right? The caveman is always looking for a voluptuous woman. The dieting industry messed the women up. The women have messed the men up. Any, any big girl, no man has come to you and said, well, you're a bit too fat, so I am sleeping with you. That hasn't happened in the history. You know this if you're a big girl. Right? Be proud of it. If you're unhealthy, if you can't manage your own body if, because of the weight, then you have to do something about it because you can't handle your body. But if you can function, if you can, because um, even in yoga, I have seen this uh, women who, the, the voluptuous, the full women, they can touch their toes very easily. They're built, their joint, their hip joint is built beautifully to turn that way. And But if you take a pitta woman, it's not very easy for us to touch our toes. So your body is built for functioning. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So embrace it. I hope I have given enough information. Just a quick tip. Uh, if you are trying to uh, modify your body for health reasons and you have opted yoga for that, if you're a couple woman, when you're doing your asanas or kriyas, it has to be done fast because your meridians are set deep inside and uh, you're trying to achieve the air quality. So you have to do it really fast so it, it, it gets to that state. If you're a pitta woman, you have to do it in medium pace. And if you're a vata woman, you're trying to achieve, you're not grounded at all. So you're trying to achieve the earth quality. So your kriyas, your asanas have to hold. You must hold, and it has to be done very, very slow. There's much more information to give, but I think for a quick one, this is good enough. Be proud of who you are. You're beautiful. You are like mother earth. You, you are the most important of the three um, uh, body types. So be proud of it. Don't let anybody say what your body type should be. Have a good one.